What's up, girl? Hey, Tanya. <laughs> girl, wait a minute. Empire oh. was on it this past week, It was right? on it. It, it was, was on, on it. it. They did that live stream thing. Um, I know. I'm glad you sent me the email, and I didn't even realize that. I was kind of mad, though, because they didn't get those people chairs. They were all sitting there, and they were all there and, and talking. And then they had a performance afterward. But you didn't learn anything really You new. didn't learn anything. But I, I was so glad that Taraji P. Henson yeah. got the uh, Critics' the Critics. Choice Award. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Best Actress on a Drama and Series. Then, now, the one thing I did find out during that um, live Q&A is that she will be, would be, if she won the Emmy, yeah. when nominated and won the Emmy, she would be the first black woman to do that. Oh. And I didn't think that was possible. Wow. I didn't think, but then again, you think Halle Berry was the first black woman That's to true. win in a leading role of a dramatic show That's true. That's not right. too long ago. Oh, that so was maybe, big news too. You know, I remember that. Right, because that was a history making night because Denzel won too. That was big. And, I you know, that. I know the Academies love history, so fingers crossed for Taraji. Found out the date what? for the show coming back is September, September 23rd. What? Yay! Because um, Taraji let it slip on Twitter. I saw that little slip up. I did love the interaction during the Q&A, though, because you, you learn that the hierarchy is much like it is on the show. Exactly. Taraji is everybody's mama. They can't get her to shut up. Right. Even Lee Daniels steps back when she starts talking. She you is. Know, she's, she's, just a she's a bossy ball. lady. Yeah. She is. She's... And she's she, cookie. <laughs> and she put it somewhere. She said, sometimes cookie comes out. I can't get it back in. That's right. And then have to roll it That's, back oh in. Oh, man, I yeah. love that girl. Now, I noticed the Nielsen, rank, uh, Nielsen rankings, Empire had the most series tweeted episode. Right. With 2.4 million tweets. Yeah. Oh, my and God. The, and, and they were like the How most. How is that possible? Uh, it's because, <laughs> because we were tweeting every second. I know, you're right. That's true. <laughs> because we were tweeting every second. But, you know, there's some. Other less savory TV stuff. The Duggar oh. family is still out there. They actually did an interview, oh, and you know God. what? I'm bringing it up so that people, so that you will know that my head is not in the sand. Right. But I really ain't got much to say about it. That's good. So I'm not gonna say well, anything at all. Well, you know, and two I of his can't. sisters are going to be on Fox News, oh, God. and uh, they showed Ooh. a clip of it. And one mm -hmm. sister's like, you know, he's been portrayed wrongly as this rapist, and. He's not a pedophile. And then she says, and I can speak on this because I'm one of the victims. Whoa. Whoa. So it was really confusing. Does she have Stockholm Syndrome? I don't know. Is, when I can't wait to see that interview. When your family gets that big, does it turn into a cult? Now, I'm from a big family, <laughs> and I'm just saying. Oh, big family people, please don't be upset with this. <laughs> I ride or die for the Chesters. I do. I do. Now, because we are large and in charge. Y'all like a cult, though, right? right? <laughs> we, well, we tend to take over wherever we go just by sheer number. Yeah. We don't do it on purpose. And, and they're and we obviously all have strong very protective of each other. Right, and I get that they're very protective yeah. of each other, but if somebody does wrong, we still going to call you out. Well, then we have to realize the sisters are two of these of the victims. There's three others out there, yeah. too. They haven't been named. So maybe they'll come out, too, with information. I really think the reality shows need to stop, but I mean... Speaking of reality shows, we got Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn. who introduced herself, her new self, right. on the cover of Vanity the Fair. The former Vanity, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Vanity Jenner. Fair. I know. And she looked a lot like Jessica Lange. Some people thought it was photoshopped. Well, everything's but everybody, photoshopped. I mean, but listen, Bruce Jenner, as a man, yeah. very athletic, yes. very tall. So it is possible with some breast implants well, this could and, happen. And and money changes everything. Isn't that a song? Right. I mean, it, I mean, yeah. It, I mean, there are people been debating is, is this a, is this Photoshop? But yeah. I think this is and her it, body. Well, I think it is because you still have to have something to work with on Photoshop. Right. But we also know that Photoshop and airbrushing. I mean, well, yeah, you know, some of that. Just the magazine was. covers that I've been privileged to work on. Right. You know, you can get rid of a blemish here and change hair That's color, right. change eye color, move a mold. Right. You can you can change your hand gesture. You can do anything with it, but you still have to have a basis. And well, what you know, do you feel about the outfit, though? Oh. Well, come on now. That's a bit much for everybody. <laughs> for everybody, we need to just step back a minute. But I'm proud that she's she's able to. I'm glad for her that she's able to live her truth. Right. I right. wish more people were more accepting of it. Right. And in a way, because that's hers. Right. Right. You know, if you, especially some of the people who and she looks are, good. are talking about it for religious reasons, mm -hmm. doesn't your Bible say don't judge? That's right. So, and but, she looks you know, great in the picture and. and like my mama said, to each his reach. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you like it, I love it. And people are saying it's part of the Kardashian machine, but he's doing a very good job, I think, of 
She's doing a very good job, I think, of pulling herself away from that brand. Now, she might be making her own brand. But you notice, also, she didn't use the K in K. Right. She's and the C. And some people are saying she's doing it on purpose because yeah. she's trying to she's distance trying to herself. Because she could use the K. Because they're different sides of the reality coin. Because she's right, doing, right. She's doing she's, a limited right. series, but it's limited. After that, she's going to live her life. I heard, I read that her country club that she's a member of, where she plays golf with all of these stars oh, or whatever, wow. her country club has separate dining areas for men and women. Really? Yeah. And now that she, now that she's a woman, she has she can't dine in the main room, which is really posh and oh, so much better than the women's. Wow. So now she needs to realize some of that women inequality stuff that people talk about but men don't really recognize because they don't know they haven't experienced it and Jacqueline Fo Floyd Jacqueline wrote a Ford, column she wrote a great column in uh, today's pa it's newspaper, in today's paper newspaper Friday's yeah it's on uh, the Metro cover June 5th it's called the the headline is an, an open, open letter to Caitlin and yeah. you have to read this you can go on DallasNews.com you can download our app it's yeah. free it's lovely by the way and you can also look at the paper version but read Jacqueline Floyd an open letter to Caitlin she tells it like it is you want to be a woman this is some of the stuff we do this with. is what you so, can expect there I we mean, go um someone I think was Mike Lukovich he's a Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist right. he um he um, wrote, had a panel and basically it was Caitlyn Jenner walking up to get her paycheck and it was 78% <laughs> I like rather that. than 100% because you know that's kind or of or being judged based on your appearance being, because no one really wanted to talk about the trans people talked about the transgender part of it but mostly people focused on her looks right, what right. she looked like so you know Man, is that what she wanted look at this I mean I this mean, is how she came out she, so. I mean you know. if I were Chris I'd be mad because she looked better than Chris, that's but I ain't one part. to talk and that's you ain't here for me. And you've already just said it though, so <laughs> there we go, we put that out there. What Thank about you. that woman who took the, um, took that Apple computer <gasps> oh, God bless and dropped her. it off? And she didn't want to leave her name or anything. No, she had cleaned she just, up her garage and there were some old boxes. And her husband had this computer. Yeah, she takes them to the boxes there and the place she donated to, they open it up and it's the one of these old Apple Ones. Yeah. They only made like 200 of them. And, and, and they sold it on what, eBay or something yeah, to a collector? They sold it for 200000 and the, part of their policy is they give you half of the proceeds. So they're looking they're for looking this woman for her. so she can get her hundred grand. Well, I hope they find her. <laughs> I hope yeah. she comes back and maybe because they did say they would recognize her when they. Oh yeah, saw her, he was very specific which, about which that. Me that means wonder, don't go back in there unless you're her. Which <laughs> made me money. wonder <laughs> what was she looking like that day. Here I go judging again. Well, Lord, I'm mercy. He said he oh. would recognize her, so that's including anybody else trying to be her. Right. Good luck with that. Because she didn't leave identity. Because she didn't leave. She just dropped it off. But that's how you do. But when this, you, these computers when you donate were, things. You donate it, things just to just to give them. Yeah, but they were trying to get for a receipt for tax purposes. Yeah. And she didn't want. Anything. And She's this like, was this was a donation to a recycling center, so she just assumed they were going to hit it with a mallet. Well, well, you know, this computer is one of 200 um, assembled yeah. in 1976 by Steve Jobs himself and a couple of others. It's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Please go claim your money. Well, speaking of recycling, we know <laughs> the plastic bags don't recycle very well unless you keep uh, using them right. God bless but Dallas. Dallas. Yes. The city council, the ca the commissioners actually. Did I say city council? My bad. The commissioners actually decided to lift. No, you got to write the council. It yeah. was the yeah they repealed this. They repealed the the bag man the char the surcharge. Yeah, it's that fee is like that five fee. cents. It's or, because it was it was poorly written. And they admit that that mm -hmm. it was poorly but, but written. But you know the reason why they did it too? They were scared of legal action. Well, the the stores that banded together and they were going to sue them. They yeah, had was, notified I them. I mean, I they couldn't figure it them. out. What was charged five well, cent? What was it? Honey, it was very confusing. And to me. it was the the people actually supposed to charge you for the bags at, at the checkout. They don't care. They got a million bags. Right. I mean, I had plenty yeah, of times. Where was the money going? I, I was, yeah, I had plenty of times. Somebody said to me. Um, no, you bagged your own groceries. Take the bags, you know. And then I'm at Fiesta, and they charge me twenty cents. And I'm like, "What's your bag got in an extra meat?" 
And, but I can understand why. It better be why. a rib up in that bag. You yeah. charging me I mean, 20 cents for and, it. In the paper, it, the picture was great. Dwayne Caraway, council member Bless Dwayne Caraway, he has been a big advocate for doing away with these plastic Such bags. Such a natty dresser. He's a good dresser. He is. He is. <laughs> but he was good because he brought this tree into council chambers and it had these plastic bags in it. Yeah. And we've all seen those bags and they are eyesore. And yeah. I can see why he wants to do this. Maybe this you was know what? the best way to do Put it. Put more trash cans around. Right. I don't know how many times I've there been walking around like in that Dallas. Idea. I've been walking around in Dallas, and I've got something in my hand, and I have to walk a country mile to find a trash can. No, you're right. You're right. Let's talk well, before we okay. end because we got I want to talk about this. Chasey. Girl, we got to talk about the slow car chase. The slow car chase. <laughs> the slow, the car crawl. I could have beat that car in a race. <laughs> I know. At one point. Wait a minute. That's what made me mad about how now now they're taking them to task I, about how they ended the oh, yeah, chase by ramming the that's car. In trouble because I, I guess it, it, that's not procedure or something. But at one they point. They call it what? The pit maneuver? The yeah, pit move? I, I got really scared because when he went in that residential area, especially in yeah, Arlington. that's true. Our it kids a, had just got out, got out of school. school. Yeah. And I was so scared because that could have ended school badly. Zone. It could have been bad. But if they would have stopped him before he was able to get off the highway. Like when he was going like, five miles per when hour? When he was going, honey, they could have gotten out. One of the officers could have gotten out of the car and jogged up to the and, car and knocked hey, on the door. slow down. Right. Because, you know, <laughs> this made national news because it was it was, it was so slow. slow. It was like over two hours. And it was long. I mean, really, somebody could have jogged up and opened the car door. Girl, they should have they should have taken him out before then. I'm that, like, that, come on now. And then they and then we wouldn't be worried about the pit maneuver. No. We wouldn't be worried about the, the kids. Right, exactly. And we I just be, thought that that was we need to look at procedure sometimes. Sometimes you have to look at procedure and see if we're doing Sometimes the right thing. you have to do it and ask for permission after. Ask, ask forgiveness rather than permission. That's, that's the scene, that right? That made national news just for because of the slow I don't know other. regular sayings. I only know my mom. <laughs> <I love her. laughs> and okay, the baby the girl oh, wow. who was pregnant and the yeah, they, yeah. The, this child she was pregnant a relative impregnated her right raped her impregnated her right. and the family decided it was four of them that they were going to they beat, going the to baby, beat the baby out of, her. out of her and they were successful and they were successful and then when <sighs> the baby was stillborn then they like were watching snap to something and decided that they were going to Burn the baby over the grill? Yeah, and, that and I guess about? when everything didn't burn, they sent somebody out with they the paid, rest of the remains. They paid him twenty five dollars. What I'm twenty five dollars here? I'm mad about a lot of stuff here, I'm but the furious thing about I'm that. furious. The thing that galls me to no end. You had twenty five dollars to pay him to get rid of these remains, but you couldn't pool together money, it could have been $50 for each of you to help out this girl. I know. I, I feel, I mean, that was a sad, Because sad where she she's lived, now 16. Right. Where she went to live after this happened, she could have gone to live then. She sure could have. But they were trying to hide it. See, because one of the women that they helped with this said, worried about you're going to get, well, you're going to get attention on me. I don't need CPS attention and get in my, my children. Life. Well, now she's got CPS attention, and, my attention, your and attention. And legal attention. I better not see her in a dark <laughs> Yeah, that's all I got to say. Well, I'm waiting on that one. I want to see the trial on that but, one for sure. But those, uh, let's make it nicer, okay? Back, back, back. Friends are friends forever. Those cute little old ladies well, who've been friends for 90, 90, 90 years. years. And Steve Harvey did something on them. And it was funny because they asked them things like, what is, uh, they asked them what is Twitter? What is, no, they said, what is a selfie? Right. And they were like, selfie? <laughs> and one of them knew more than the other. But I so love great. the fact that one of them, but one of them was like, People take pictures of me. I don't need to take my own I pictures. Know, it was it's like, like <laughs> common sense in that way. I just like, then they ask him about twerky. What is twerky? What is twerky? And, but what, that one older lady, she was a little more plugged yeah, in. Yeah, she so was. was and the cool. other one, what, what I liked about the other woman who wasn't quite plugged in was just, she's like, you know what? I'm in my own world. I don't need she's to be in yours. Straight up old school. But you know, school. I mean, let's end it on an even brighter note too bright because notes, I just, I, like bright notes. I love Godzilla. Yeah, because we do have to get back. Japan has made Godzilla an official an citizen. official citizen. <laughs> Girlfriend, yes. Isn't that great, though? Yes, that, that helps me fly my geek flag a little higher, too. Because, hey, you can talk and about me out here. Godzilla was so cheesy. Godzilla was a, a citizen. Even the um, movie with Brian Cranston in it was cheesy. I mean, it, <laughs> you can't get around the cheese on Godzilla it. Godzilla yeah. is a citizen. Girl, now if Godzilla can take the citizenship <laughs> test. Don't even. And be, <laughs> 
<laughs> and become a citizen. Come on now. That's true. You're right. Go Godzilla. Right. Go Japan on it. <laughs> All right, girl, I got to get okay, back. Okay, we're going back. All right, bye. He's so wrong. <laughs>